So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you that you can add these these two buttons, these two icons in the same uh, in the same li. So instead of adding each one in a separate nav item, you can add both together. So let me show you what what I'm going to do. So you can copy this and then paste it in the same in the same nav bar icon and then uh, in the same nav bar item and then remove this. And now it's going to be displayed like this. So I think this is better because now we have here uh, a much bigger space, uh, but we still need to work on the design. But the, you can also do this. You, so you can use the first method or this method. Also, the, the shopping cart, you can use the shopping cart or you can use the shopping bag. The shopping bag is going to display a shopping bag. So as you can see, bag, a bag like this. Another thing that I'm going to do is that I, um, I'm going to make this navigation bar fixed meaning that if you scroll I want this navigation bar to remain at the top uh, of the screen always so that the user will always be able to check this navigation bar and uh, uh, click on any button if they want even if they scroll to do this you can use a uh, class a bootstrap class called fixed top so here if you say fixed top this is going to um, make this navigation bar stick to the top of the screen. Another thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to increase the height of this navigation bar. And uh, there are so many options to do this. The easiest option is to use the PY3. The PY is the margin, is the padding, is the padding um, Y, which is height and uh, uh, the padding uh, top and bottom you can increase this all the way to you can increase this all the way to 5 you can say here 5 5 is going to increase it further but of course 5 is too large I'm going to say 3 3 is enough I think 3 is enough so this is for the navigation bar and another thing, thing that I'm going to do is that instead of displaying nav bar I'm going to remove this navigation bar. I'm going to remove this nav bar. And instead, I'm going to use an image. I'm going to display the icon, the logo of the website. So I'm going to say image and then source. And then the source is going to be equal to double quotes. And then assets for slash images for slash and then logo dot jpeg. However, I don't have I don't have a an image called logo.jpg so we need to add a in the images here we need to add a a, uh, a logo to this folder and I'm gonna do that later but for now I'm just gonna say assets uh, image images logo.jpg so the name of the image is gonna be jpg let me now work on the style a little bit so I'm gonna open up the style here the style that CSS and then I'm going to add the following designs. I'm going to add the general designs. So what are the general designs? The general designs are the things that will be applied to the complete website, such as designs for the um, headers and um, designs for titles and things like that. First, I'm going to say here dot nav buttons. And then I'm going to add a nav buttons class to the to this to this dev I'm gonna say here nav buttons and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna increase the margin left I'm gonna say margin margin left so the margin left is gonna be 160 percent uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to push this nav bar let me refresh and show you what's gonna happen I want to push this nav bar to the right side so this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to be displaying these buttons on the right side. Let me decrease this a little. So instead of uh, instead of 60, I'm going to say 50. 50 is enough, I think. So 50 will display it like this. And you can here. Let's let's say 60 because I think 60 is great. So 60 will be great. Now what I'm going to do is that. I'm going to add uh, some designs to the complete uh, page. So for the complete site, I'm going to add the following. 
first the margin is going to be zero the padding is going to be zero and the box sizing is going to be border box border box next i'm going to change the body of the website so the body will have a font family and i'm going to import that font family right now from google so you can head on over to uh, google click on uh, uh, first you need to go to fonts.google.com and then you can select your the the font that you want the font that i'm going to be using here is called it's called Poppins. Poppins. it's called Poppins. i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to select it and then in order to import that uh, uh, font what you need to do is that you need to click on uh, select this style and then here you will find link and import i'm going to click on import and then you need to copy this part this part and then you need to paste it back in your project at the top in this style you need to paste it here and then here the font family is going to be equal to the poppins so i'm going to say here poppins pop make sure that this the spelling is correct poppins and then comma and then sans serif so this is for the font family of the complete page next i'm going to work on the h1 i'm going to change the h1 so i'm going to change the font size and the font weight for h1 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and even 6 so i'm going to say font size for h1 the font size is going to be 2.5 rem whereas the font fam font weight the font weight is going to be 700 I'm going to also change the h2 so for the h2 i'm going to say font size 1.9 rem whereas the font weight is going to be 600 and then i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here and here and here so for h3 i'm going to say here h3 for the H3, the font uh, the font size is going to be 1.5, and the font weight is going to be 800. For H4, the font size is going to be 1.2, and the font weight is 600. And then for H5, uh, uh, the I'm going to change the font size to be 1 and the font weight is going to be 400 and uh, for H6 I'm just going to change the color I'm going to say color and then I'm going to change the, change the color to this color I'm going to be using a, co a color that's uh, uh, close to the white color I'm gonna say d8d 8d8 so this is for for this part uh, next what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, work on the uh, this part I'm gonna work on let me close this we no longer need this I'm gonna work on the body of our website 